Right. Okay, so you try to get around the middle of the cloth, right? And again, so, uh, you know, again, I'm not wearing anything when I put this on, right? No underwear, no pants, nothing, but again, so you just tie it around your waist. Make a knot. Again, I don't know what the actual way to do it is, right? I mean, I just kind of figured this out somewhat halfway on my own. Because again, I didn't grow up in India and I've worn these things. You guys can maybe comment if you know how to tie a dhoti. But basically what I do is just like that. And I take one piece, put it between my legs, all right? And then I kind of just fold this up here. And just kind of push it, push it in the front. And do the same thing on the other side. Between the legs. And then just push it in front. So something like that basically, right? Hmm? How's that? Not bad? So what this gives you is that it keeps you covered, right? So it looks like you're wearing clothes, right? But you actually have, you know, you have access, full access to this, this whole area, you know, if you're naked, right? So, so what you do then, right? It's like this, you know? You then have access here, so you push your heels in this area directly, right? You have direct access to your heels there. And then you cover yourself up, and then you sit and you meditate, right? Okay? That's basically how that works. Again, you can do the same thing in a sari or whatever too, right? Okay. So I'll just take this off and I'll, uh, then I'll uh, explain to you the exact details of the postures. So Siddhasana, Siddha Yoniasana, right? Again, out of the 20 Kriyas of Kriya Yoga, 18 of them are done in Siddhasana. Okay, so this is the most important asana to learn, right? 